Hi, and welcome to this edition of Everything Home. Today on our show, we're gonna show you how to put in a night light. Now, I'm not talking about a typical night light that you plug into an outlet and it shines out throughout the room. We're talking about a wall plate night light. Now, I love these with the LED lights. You've got a little sensor right here that tells it when it's dark enough, and then it's got little LED lights on the bottom that actually shine down and light like a, a walkway or a hallway or in a bedroom. It doesn't put out a ton of light, but it's enough just to see or get around in the dark. Now, the cool thing about these is that they're really easy to install, and normally all you have to do is take off your old wall plate and put on one of these. It's got little contacts on the back that basically hit on the side of the receptacle and power this. Now, a lot of times you might have a different kind of power receptacle that doesn't have a contact that's gonna work on the side. So we're gonna show you how to install one of these, and then if you have that issue, we're gonna show you how to fix it. So let's go inside and get started. Okay, so here we have, you know, your typical night light, one that plugs into an outlet. It's got the sensor on it, turns on if it gets dark. Now this uses up obviously one of the outlets and it also puts out more light than we want. So with the new wall plate one, basically all that you have to do is take off the old wall plate. This is what's great about these. Take off the old wall plate and put on the new one. And this basically connects to the side here where there's a power point and it gives power to the LED lights. So once you've got that in place, then basically all you have to do is put the screw back in and it's gonna work. So we cover this up and it's not actually lighting up. So we know that there's an issue with this one and it has to do with the receptacle itself. So if you put one of these in and it's not lighting up, then this is probably the problem that you're gonna have. So now what we've gotta do is let's take off this new night light. And then once we get the cover back off, I shouldn't have cut my fingernails today. Once we get the cover back off, what we're gonna need to do is pull out this outlet and check the sides and see how the connections are. And so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go out and turn off the power. Either you can turn it off to the whole house with the main breaker, or you can find the individual circuit that goes to this outlet and shut that off. And once you've got that shut off, we're gonna take this out. So we've got our shut off now. Well, it's not really shut off, but uh, we're gonna do this while it's hot. We don't recommend you doing that, but uh, they don't want to have to reset all their clocks. So I'm gonna do this one hot. Now this one, it's the end of the circuit. So we've only got one wire coming out. A lot of times you'll have uh, two wires or two sets in there and one will be the power coming in and one will be the power going out. So you have to hook it up, both of them. But you can see on this outlet that there's nowhere for this little connector here to touch. You've got the small one right here that basically connects this to this. So it's only plugged in, hooked up on the one side, but it gives power to both. If you've got a light switch that goes to this, this is another problem you might have where this tab is broken off on the hot side and you've got another set of wires coming in here. Depending on which one is switched or not, you're not gonna have power going to it. So what we're gonna have to do is change this out to one of these type that actually have the screws on the side that's gonna allow these to contact the screws and power this wall plate. So let's get this old one off real quick and put the new one on. So basically we're gonna disconnect the ground wire first. We got Tiger coming in here wanting to help. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that over there? All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Once we've got that disconnected, disconnect the hot and the neutral wire. Basically, it's pretty simple. This one's really easy to reconnect back up. We're gonna hook the ground back around. Tiger. 
tighten that back up. The neutral is on the left side, it's the white wire. Reconnect that in. Loosen this up a little bit right here. And then connect the hot side. And once we've got that connected, we'll put this back in here. Now that we have the new outlet in place, basically we put this back on, make sure the lights are facing down. I'm gonna loosen this a little bit down here so it comes out a little bit farther. All right, let's put this back on. Put the screw back in on this. Then once you've got the plate back on, everything back in there, then go back out, turn the power back on, flip the circuit breaker, turn the main back on. Okay, now that we've got this all in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the lights off because I don't think it's still too bright to have that work. But so, darken it up a little bit and basically cover this up and you can see the lights coming on right there. I really like these.